High school students in Ogden have taken the matter of suicide prevention into their own hands this week. Uh, they're petitioning for more ways to honor their friends who passed away at graduation tomorrow. ABC4 Sarah Martin has the story. Students at Ben Lomond High School say the silence around suicide isn't working and they've decided to change the conversation at their high school. What can we start doing now as a community to start changing situations like this? Exactly. You know, and stop another suicide from happening. Jedi Amora is a sophomore, but she and her friends have seen eight fellow students die by suicide or accident in the last few years and felt more could be done. They held a walk this weekend for their community to honor those classmates, but also to strengthen their friends. We just wanted to do something for kids to feel like they, they were able to honor their friends or these kids that have passed away and they weren't left out. And we wanted to make sure that they felt like they had support and they had people that care about their feelings and care about their well-being and that are here for them. Some students went a step further, petitioning their school district to be able to honor two students at graduation. They're a part of our school. They're a part of our class. So during the principal's opening remarks, uh, he's going to have a moment of silence for the two seniors that we've lost. And uh, afterwards, uh, there is we are still finalizing some things, but we will be um, awarding an honorary diploma. The seniors had to petition the school board for that moment of silence because it was previously against the district's policy adopted from the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide. Awarding an honorary diploma has always been allowed. It's going to open communication avenues. The most important thing we find with uh, mental health issues is that if they're suppressed and if they're ignored, they get worse. The students say openly honoring their lost friends can maybe save others. Reporting in Ogden, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News. The Ogden School District says they applaud and support the students participating in the civic process. Measles cases still on the rise here in the U.S.